The information in this video is mostly intended for people unfamiliar with Yuri Lowell and Vesperia's combat system. The techniques here stay useful throughout an entire playthrough. If you came just to figure out how cancels work, you can skip ahead to the respective timestamp. Normal attacks. All normals have different odd and even attack animations. The first, third, fifth, etc. normals of the same normal will all be the same animation, while the second, fourth, sixth, etc. will also all be the same. Neutral normals are a pair of fast vertical slashes. They don't move you or the enemy forward too much, which can help if an ally is preparing an AoE spell art that you don't want them missing. Up normals are a pair of lifting strikes. Successive hits launch the enemy higher. They start up slow and their damage per second isn't as great, but since they lift enemies into the air, they can have some uses in scenarios where you want to limit the moveset of an enemy that can break out of a combo, since many arts can only be performed while grounded. Down normals are a backhand and a swipe followed by another swipe. The swipes have a decent amount of horizontal range, but don't count on them if you get swarmed. The strikes can miss flying enemies, but they're unique in that they deal 2 hits of damage. Since TP is regenerated on a per hit basis, this will be your go to normal for regenerating TP starting out. As in the early game, you won't have many ways to keep your TP up besides items, cooking, and resting. The odd strikes are somewhat slow, but they can be used to stall for time or keep an enemy in hit stun while an ally prepares an attack or recovery spell. This also somewhat applies to enemies in a hard knockdown, since the swipes can still hit them and prevent them from getting up temporarily. Forward and back normals are a stab and a right hook. This one moves you a decent amount forward. The stab has decent range, but the hook doesn't, so at tip range, the hook can sometimes miss. Sometimes it's better to just directly chain the stab into something else if you want to keep the enemy in hit stun or catch up to it. The stab knocks enemies back and also has a slight lingering hitbox, while the hook, if used after other normals, can put enemies in ballerina stun and turn them around. You can mix and match as you see fit, since these normals can be chained in any order up to a total determined by the skills you have equipped. At the beginning of the game this total is 3, meaning you can only use 3 normal attacks in a chain. As an example, if you wanted to keep an enemy away from you using only normals, maybe because you've run out of TP, you could end a normal chain with an up and forward normal, as the lifting strike will cause enemies hit with the knockback stab normal to travel further away. Use the best normal for your situation. Free run. Hold down the free run button to switch from a vertical 2D plane of control to a horizontal 2D plane. After you've started running, passing over neutral for even a split second will cause your character to be temporarily animation locked as they slide to a halt. Make sure to roll your directional inputs if you want your character to turn on a dime. If you press the attack button while holding down the free run button, you will do a free run attack. This can be done both while moving or stationary. The attack itself leaps you forward and has decent reach and horizontal range. Free run attacks can be chained after normals for an additional hit, and can be chained into arts just like normals. They also hit on the ground and restand the enemy, meaning that if an enemy gets hit into a hard knockdown, you can pick them up before they stand up themselves to continue your offensive. You are only allowed one free run attack per chain. To reset this attack count limit for both free run attacks and normal attacks, you can either let a recovery animation play out in full, enter neutral stance, or guard. Guard against blockable strike arts by holding the guard button. Guarding too many hits will guard break you. If you have the magic guard skill, hold down while guarding to guard against spell arts. If you have the critical guard skill, you can tap forward while guarding to heavily reduce incoming damage, but this is not recommended due to its long animation lock. If you have the backstep skill, tap back while guarding to perform a backstep. Guarding is omnidirectional, but you will take increased damage from the sides and rear compared to damage from the front. Damage taken can be reduced by improving your own defense and or using certain skills. Jump. Jump by tapping up. You cannot jump while free running since it uses a different plane of control. In the beginning of the game, this will generally be an accidental input that leaves you animation locked upon landing. Avoid this by making sure you aren't holding up when you let go of your free run button. That being said, jump is one of the few ways to avoid certain attacks. Semi-Auto vs Manual Semi-Auto is the game's default control scheme. It is easier to use than manual. When attacking, your character will automatically realign their axes to your targeted enemy before proceeding to attack. If they are out of range, they will also move towards the enemy until they are within range. Note that the computer is only concerned with enemy location when calculating this range, so if the enemy is moving towards you, you will end up starting the attack a bit closer than the art's true maximum range. 
In some cases, this can allow the enemy to stuff your attack. Manual mode can be switched to during battles or in the art menu. Attacks are performed instantly in the current location and direction your character is facing. There is no auto realignment or range correction. You will need to do that on your own. Other minor differences include the additional 0.25 bonus to grade for using manual when completing a battle, but you can pretty much ignore this, since grade can be farmed in more efficient ways in the end game and grade is only used for new game plus anyway. The following techniques require you to be in manual mode. Free run cancels. Manual mode allows you to cancel any attack into a free run. After a normal attack, free run attack, or art, hold down the free run button and the direction you are facing. This free run cancel will cancel the recovery of your attack and instantly put you into free run, running in the same direction you were attacking. You can then curve your free run away from danger. Keep in mind this direction is with respect to the horizontal 2D plane used by free run. If the enemy you've targeted is to your bottom left with respect to the camera, your held direction should also be the bottom left. The catch of course is that your attack count limit isn't reset. To reset your attack count limit, just stop moving for a split second or guard. Both put you into a short animation lock, but the latter guards you while doing so. With some exceptions, such as guard break attacks, you should generally guard to reset this limit before doing whatever you wanted to do. This lets you use pseudo guerrilla tactics in situations where you need to play it safe, by letting you take pot shots at enemies when you have extremely narrow windows of opportunity. When used in other ways, this also lets you be more aggressive. Guard cancels. After a normal attack, free run attack, or art, hold down the free run button, the guard button, and the direction you are facing. This guard cancel will cancel the recovery of your attack, instantly put you into guard, and cause you to slide forward a tiny bit. You can keep holding guard to defend against enemy attacks, or just let go to guard for a split second and restart your combo to stay aggressive. This builds upon the free run cancel by giving you a way to instantly reset your attack count limit. If you have the backstep skill equipped, you can also backstep out of the guard cancel after you let go of the free run button. Remember that letting go of the free run button puts you back into a vertical 2D plane of control, meaning you need to tap in either the left or right direction depending on whether your character is to the left or the right of your targeted enemy, irregardless of how far above or below you they were before you let go of the free run button. With the landing step skill, this can be used to chain back steps and quickly get the hell out of dodge. Pairing this with the step away skill will also help guarantee you are able to get out of most bad situations even if you get tagged by a few attacks. Alternatively, the step combo skill gives you another way to quickly put your enemy back into hit stun so you can stay aggressive. Tap the attack button during the back step to combo into an art. This one takes a bit more practice than the others and is not as useful as it seems, so don't get discouraged if you're having trouble learning it. All this should be enough to get you started using Yuri in Tales of Asperia. Do note that this video is focused on Yuri, so not everything translates to other characters. For instance, while Carol's free run attack hits on the ground, it does not restand enemies like Yuri's does. This is fine, however, because he has arts that do hit on the ground that he can use to lock down enemies. Guard cancel out of these arts, and now you've got a way to keep enemies in permanent knockdown. Don't be afraid to try out other characters, they're all pretty fun, and they each have their own unique combat styles. Hope this video helped you out. Have fun with the game.